Last time in Sailing Ohio, we met the last boatworks we had to do before leaving shore for our very first sailing time together and probably her first navigation in the last 17 years. We removed the forestay with the old furler and placed a brand new one on Ohio. After that, we finally hoisted Genoa and we are ready to go. Rio is all set for her first sailing day, so now we are getting ready as well to spend a few days along the coast doing the sailing tests. The big day is the last and the last preparation. We're waiting for that for something two years now because tomorrow we are going to sail for the first time with the Rio. We are going to the to the VAR in the east. And it's, it's so exciting to eat pasta. Yeah, that was the, the last crossways here. We have been contacted by a French company called Nodus Factory. Located in Brittany, they create and manufacture mainly textile chandlery, seamanship and sailing accessories. From then, we started a great partnership with them. As to ornate efficiently Oreo, they send us some of their amazing creation items. We set in place on the mast several pad eyes to hold our halyards and reefs. We could try as well a few textile shackles and a low friction wing. You can go and visit their website to discover their great work. We put the link in the description below. Okay, this is it. So It all comes down to, well, right now, we are living. After two years, I cannot be more anxious than at this very minute. AC power is disconnected, water tanks are filled, and the engine is on for like 15 minutes now, and so we just check the temperature, and it seems to be all right. The sails are ready to be hoisted. We just have to, uh, Leave shore. I'm definitely scared. Um, we worked so hard for like, these last two years. Ohio has really, I don't know exactly, maybe 15, 17, 20 years. We don't know for sure the, the exact time he spent, she spent on the hard. So it's a very, very big day for the three of us. Let's cross everything that we have, then it will be a full, great and awesome setting day. The channel we are in is like a border. 
It connects the Marina Port Napoleon to the sea in the Gulf of Foss sur Mer. It marks the end of Port Saint Louis out. We know this channel well, as we used to follow it quite often with our previous boats. But it is the first time with Ohio, and during summertime. And it definitely means something big for us. So we are up in the sea for now 40 minutes. So far everything is, uh, is going well. Still a bit anxious, <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be all right. We ran some tests with the, the autopilots because there's a compass in it and uh, it needs to be set up. So we did it and everything went, was fine. For now we're just with the engine. Now there's uh, some wind actually, so we might be able to hoist the sails. It truly wasn't on purpose, but just for the anecdote, we splashed into the water on July 4th, the US Independence Day, and we are celebrating our first sailing on July 14th, which is the French National Day. Ohio chooses her days. This time we are sailing. Well, we are sharing the very first minutes of Ohio sailing after all this wait, all this time, all this work, all this energy. Even if it was hard, I think she was just waiting for a go back to sea and sail again so it's a it's a mixed um, feeling with uh, less stress than this morning but uh, a lot of expectations and uh, enjoy actually it's uh, we are so glad So for the first sail with the Oreo, we are very happy about the speed because there is very light wind today and just with the Genoa and the mainsail. We are faster than this big boat on the port side. It's a good news for the first sail. We have uh, something like 10 knots of, of wind uh, on the beam and we're doing something like 4 or 5 knots, 5 knots I think. So I'm pretty happy and I hope uh, it will be the same tomorrow. for a little less than five hours now and we are in the bay of Marseille we are actually passing by the lighthouse Valérie and I actually both uh, used to live and work here we did a lot of uh, scuba diving as well here it's a wonderful place for scuba diving lovers we are glad to be passing by this city with all those, those memories we have here and uh, this time we are just uh, sailing by it. It's 
it's a nice moment. These islands are the archipelago of the Canucks. It's the archipelago of Rio, which is, well, the main island, the, the highest one. And it's, well, it's just the Calanx. It's now a national park in France since 2012. Just a beautiful place to be in. I actually used to work there, so it's a, quite an emotion to be sailing here now and not working there anymore. It's different, but it's still so beautiful. There are some areas to do so, and it's the Calanque of Morgiou. It's a pretty nice one with a small village at the, the back of the Calanque. It was the, a very good day. It was the perfect day for this first sail with Oreo. We are so happy. There is no problem with the boats. We have a lot of things to 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 see in the in the future and uh, for the next uh, navigation. But everything is okay. It's a, it's a very good day. Yeah, it's amazing how after. Uh, well, two years two of years. boat works uh, in Port Saint Louis, and just a very small day of sailing. It's like we sail like seven hours, mm -hmm. so it's not that long. And now we are just in the middle of the national park of the Calanques. It's so quick to go from one world with um, the industry all around and all the dust in the air and all the hard work we've done and just like this we are here it's like we are in a whole other world so it's a uh, well it, it's the first day of sailing so magic the only issue we have uh, on the boat is the screen controller the for, screen the for, for the wind. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. So we have to see that and maybe return to um, 
to the store. The navigation by itself today was, uh, well, well, we sailed for seven hours and we made 32 nautical miles. Well, we have a very light, very light wind, wind. today. The, the average wind was between seven and ten knots. We couldn't go faster than well, what, what was the, the fast? That At the beginning, uh, six and a half knots. Mm -hmm. It's the maximum speed for today. So, see you tomorrow for the second uh, sail of Oreo. Second port to La Ciotat. Yes, our town. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big step for us because we've been living in La Ciotat for nine years a bit more than nine years now mm. so sailing back to our home on a kind of a new home it's uh, it's something thanks to all of you for watching another step on sailing oreo we hope you enjoyed this time spent with us and we are so glad to have done all this work for a reason oreo has sailed proudly and is definitely ready for more adventures overseas as always, we love reading your comments, so keep up with the writing. You can find more about us on our Patreon page, joining the team. Thanks for giving the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.